All right guys, today we're going over how to set up material profiles on the FunMat HT and how to use the high temperature hot end for any material, even as low temperature as PLA. So we don't actually use the normal temperature extruder for anything here in the shop. Uh, so we're just gonna show you what we do when we do want to print low temperature materials. First thing you're gonna do is select material and then choose material and then just go down to customize. Now I can scroll down and select my nozzle temperature and select this to, for this one, we're gonna go to 210 Celsius as if we're doing PLA. Boom, and then I'm just gonna go back and hit return. Return, and we're back to the main menu. Now, this is tricking it with a high temperature hot end into thinking it's just, we've set where it's at. So I can go to axis extruder, and it's only gonna heat up to 210 Celsius, which is what we want to load the material of PLA. Okay, so using this method, you can literally set it to any temperature under 280 limit and use it for any material you want. Now for making a custom profile for something like say HTNCF25, the process is very similar just with a couple more steps. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into materials. I'm gonna choose material. I'm gonna go back to customize. And then if we're doing something like HTN, I'm gonna move my nozzle temperature up to around 305. And my build plate temperature, let's take that to around 100 and my chamber temperature, we're gonna go full 90 Celsius. And then you have things like preheat time. Now preheat time is basically just going to set the heaters going before the print starts every time. So if you wanna set that for a half hour, you can. We always manually preheat our machines, so we never worry about this, we just keep it at zero. And then you've also got the diameter of filament, which you won't change, the flow rate, retract length, retract speed. And these ones are really only apply if you're using Intim Suite to slice. We don't ever make any changes. Usually those are done in Cura, Simplified 3D, or Intim Suite. Now, what you will want to focus on is over here, we've got maintain build plate temperature. And that will happen once your print is done it will maintain the temperature. So you just wanna set that to whatever you were printing at. Sometimes you can set it lower if you want. And then also maintain chamber temperature. So we're gonna want it to stay hot after it's finished printing. Now this is really important for high temp materials like peak, because you don't want your build plate and chamber cooling down before you take it out and remove it. But for other things, you can also use it to say anneal apart after you've printed it, just automatically once the printer stopped printing. And so we set that, and you can also set the maintain temperature time. Now this, you can set by hours, and you can set it to zero hours, two hours, all the way up to, I believe, about a thousand hours. So if you're worried about your printer cooling down after your print over the weekend, and you want it to stay hot, you can set this to a very, very long time and not have to worry about it, your peak part breaking the glass build plate after it's printed over the weekend. So I'm gonna leave that and then you store as preset. Now I'm gonna go, you can overwrite the other presets or you can go new preset and then to change the name and custom name it whatever you want, you just tap the name and then I can delete, 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 delete all that, and I can use all caps for this one. And then you hit the letter, and then you tap the letter. So you hit the three letters. I'm gonna go HTNCF25. So I'm gonna go T, select T, N, N, C, F, and then numbers over here. I'm gonna do 25. Hit OK. You've got the name in there. Now I'm just gonna hit the check mark and we've got our custom profile. Now to find that, again, you just go choose material and scroll down to the bottom, and there it is. You've got the nozzle, build plate chamber, preheat, and all the other settings. And so now, if I wanna switch quickly to a custom material we've been using in the shop, I can just go there, select it, and all my settings are set up. So do keep in mind, you can't use the high temp extruder for low temp materials. When you're using a preset, you have to go in there and change the customized thing. Anyway, I hope this helps here at Vision Miner. We specialize in high temp 
high strength, chemically resistant materials, printers, tools, and support to help you use them. So definitely reach out if you've got any questions and check out our website for a lot more videos just like this one, as well as a ton of information on the materials and the printers that we sell in our store. Thanks for watching, have a positive rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.